would say it was quite a smooth transitional phase. The marketing, like you say, did its job. We agreed terms with the buyer. Um, now the bit, now this is probably quite a big part um, that a lot of people sometimes forget. Um, and I would personally, from experience, suggest that this is the bit that causes the most stress, is that point from once the sale is agreed to getting to exchange of contracts. Mm -hmm. What was the experience like there? I was pleasantly surprised because I've, I've bought and sold properties both to live in and, and you know to rent out at times um, and it was the first time that I'd got like a dedicated sales progressor. Okay. Um, Nicole would come speak to the buyer, buyer solicitors, speak to me, speak to my solicitors and just so that things didn't stall you, you know sometimes you get solicitors, mine is fantastic and she responds immediately sometimes you get solicitors that oh I'll put that on my desk and it'll stop there for a week mm. and you know all the time you're waiting for that but you know she was just going between the two us making sure oh that's been sent have you received it and the buyer knew his solicitor had got it so you just you're just aware that things are moving they've just not stopped uh, like they can do in, in on some sales yeah. um, and it was just to, good to get that in between between yourself and, and the buyer or the, the buyer solicitors. And that kind of liaison that, that keeps the, like you say, the, the wheels turning, the, yes. the, 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 the motion. Um, now, we did talk about this briefly before we came on camera, and I think it's quite relevant because there's always, um, it's very, very, very rare that we have an experience of a transaction where it's completely hassle-free. There's always somewhere along the line a bit of a bump in the road. And the same was true of your transaction. There was a slight um, issue that, uh, came up connected to the title on the property um, and you shared with me and it'd be good to kind of get you to reshare if you wouldn't mind how Nicole's part played and, and had an impact on that challenge mm -hmm. um, so there was an issue with the uh, an overage attached to the title yes. it, the, the problem was not with yourselves or anything to you know to do on, on your side it, it was land registry yeah trying to get um, there's um, an overage which it means if if we were to get planning permission on the, the back garden or the adjoining paddock, um, the previous owner um, for another four years was entitled to, you know, a, a, percentage. a percentage of the uplifting value. Um, and where the house was built, that was removed when we purchased this in 2014, but it remained on the garden and on the uh, paddock. But land registry, when the solicitor sent everything in, um, the guy came in to say, actually you can just cancel it there's only four years left I don't want the money just I'll cancel the overage so he came in signed it everything went to the solicitors they removed all that but when it came back somehow they'd left it on where the property has been built Despite even though that the fact removed. it was removed in 2014 right. um, they the solicitors kept going to and from full emails proof this that and the other and didn't seem to be getting anywhere um, and all the time this was going on, I'm, I'm a bit concerned that the buyer is going to get cold feet and pull out, oh, you know, this is, you know, we don't need problems with titles and things. Because, awesome. you know, I was aware that he'd had problems with titles and when he tried to buy previous properties. Um, so they just, the fact that Nicole was talking to him and he was fully aware of the situation, then she was telling me, no, he's, he's quite all right with it, he understands. My solicitor was, after getting exasperated, trying to get them to accept they'd made a mistake, they wouldn't. We got the guy in that then did another release on, on the property, so then it, everything was clear, we can go. Because all the other little things have been ironed out, um, you know, along the way that you get with solicitors, have you got this certificate, have you got that certificate? We were just waiting on that one thing, so once that was ironed out, um, we exchanged and, and fixed the completion date. And the issue was resolved. And, and like you say, the, the, the buyer, I was nervous. I, being totally honest, I think I recall us having a conversation. Um, but Nicole did do a fantastic job of keeping him updated on what steps were being taken. And I, 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 I feel, uh, and I, I think you, got, you will agree, that that interaction there was very much what kept him in play yes um especially given his previous experience so um yeah an interesting one and i think it's really useful feedback to offer because a lot of people go into the process of selling and think well we'll just you know pop it on the market and we'll attract a buyer and then everything's plain sailing. yeah you sort of think um, that oh you know an estate agent's job is to put it in front of people agree a sale and then there you go you know deal with the solicitors 
but that certainly wasn't the case. They, you know, the sales progress of Nicole just kept the thing moving um, to ensure that it did ultimately end up in, in completion and, uh, well, exchange of contracts with, you know, completion date set. Wayne, really appreciate you taking the time to do this for us today. It's been an absolute pleasure and good luck with the move. Thank you very much. Thank you.